So I've finished up all of the uh, welding underneath the car and the rear frame, uh, the axle beam mounting points have all been uh, gusseted and stiffened. Um, I want to show you some more brazing that uh, I've got this uh, 10 pound spool of silicon bronze brazing wire and um, you know it's awesome for filling in um, holes especially when there's, there's been rust and stuff so like here's an example down here where I had some pinhole rust and I just filled in and if I used if I tried to weld that in I'd guaranteed to blow through because it's just uh, the metal gets thin and uh, the rust has oxygen attached to the, uh, the metal actually you can see in here where I've you can see the welding marks where I've been welding an additional stiffening material underneath. But there's a seam that runs uh, at the back of the floor pan connecting here to here and I ran through filler material in that seam and then um, I'm just about to put some um, weld through zinc primer in this area here that I'm masking off and then this piece here is going to this is a 16 gauge piece of material and that basically goes in there like that and that stiffens up the uh, this this area at the back providing some stiffness then I'm going to across the uh, seat area here I'm going to add some uh, additional metal to stiffen this and connect it to the center and across and then finally I've got some of this uh, eighth inch plate here and I'm going three inch wide. I'm going to use a plasma cutter to cut uh, two inch diameter holes in it to lighten it, but use it to run along um, the sides of the original, um, sh you know, chassis um, sort of frame and stiffen that whole area up there. So I'll have basically, um, in addition to the rectangular tube steel, I'll have that bit there, this here this across here and then I'm going to do some stiffening up above and then I'm basically done other than little bits uh, here and there. So I'm about to weld in these um, uh, this is eighth inch steel it's pretty heavy duty thick stuff and uh, these pieces are going to be welded in um, to the um, to the inside of the, um, the tubular frame rails where I've just uh, sprayed the zinc uh, weld through primer. So I'm going to weld those in, connect them into the seat supports and the front uh, bulkhead and uh, that'll complete, there's the, uh, you know, it'll complete the, uh, the bracing on the inside of the car. And um, so the welding's done on both sides. Got the, uh, got these things in and uh, I'll have to clean up the welds but uh, it ties the floor into the cross members into the rear cross members front ties them into the channel and that eighth inch steel there you can see I cut to uh, use the plasma cutter to cut out some access holes and lighten it up a bit as well so I'll clean that all up and that's the end of the major welding I've got little bits of welding here and there but uh, we're now uh, getting close to uh, getting prep for paint which is uh, you know the bodywork bits getting getting all the uh, paint off the body and then uh, starting to get the um, two-part epoxy primer on there clean it all up get a primer on there and start doing the bodywork and getting ready for the uh, paint 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 it's gonna be awesome